Now today what I'm gonna do is actually the mess around with the explore the sound, the simulated SIDs of the, um, it's supposed to be dual SID of the uh, Ultima 2 Plus and also you know mess around with the actual SIDs inside here. I have a stereo SID mod for those of you who do not know and uh, there will be you know each one the actual com the actual SIDs are connected to my Yamaha mixer and uh, so is the A sound output of the simulated SIDs of the uh, Ultima 2 Plus connected to another channel on the same mixer so I can mix between them you know anytime. So let's begin. Despite this part 3 making sense as an independent video, uh, because it's an independent topic, if you haven't watched the previous videos, parts 1 and 2 of this Ultima 2 Plus series, I highly recommend checking those out. The links are in the description below or in the letter I in the top right corner. So of course, first things first, you turn on your Commodore 64 and you know you will see the usual screen. I have the ROM fast load um, you know, at the boot up. Uh, so I think I'm going to change that to, you know, if I can get the um, action replay uh, fast load working, I will, you know, put action replay on because that's the one that gives me the buttons. <laughs> so we press the middle button for the menu in the Ultima 2 Plus and then we want to play a SID. Okay, so we go into the um, SID folder, which I have, and there's all the SID. Now, for those of you who are, you know, my long-term viewers, you will know that there's a certain specific SID which I always use to test sound, you know, what I use to test my SID mod also. That is because I know how different, how it sounds very well on each SID, 8580 or 6581, you know, on each one I know how it sounds. So this is kind of the, I'd say the caliber. <laughs> <laughs> the caliber tune, which I always go to. That is um, Fairlight's cheese, or Fairlight Whitland's cheese. And um, let's play that first on the actual sits. <laughs> So let's come out of there and we will go into the settings of the um where am i going shift and that okay audio output settings now there is you know you can simulate two sids i'm going to turn that down and put the output of the ultimate two up now okay we have here the left channel output sid left which is you know all these settings and the right channel output which is sit right and that is oops <laughs> all these settings at the bottom so we can choose which one is sit left well you know that's enabled so we can choose which address it is and um let's have a look yeah we can choose which sit to be simulated and 8580 on the left as you can select between them here so 8580 on the left and on the right 6581 so i've selected that I've selected the address of each one, which is like, should be the same, should be, you know, D400. Anyway, so there was a little while ago in my first part, when I posted it on my Facebook, um, on my Facebook page, my video, somebody commented about the SID and the simulation of the SID of the Ultimate 2 Plus. And I said that I can only get, you know, one SID working, you know, well, there was like a bit of a back and forth between both of us. I said I can only sell, uh, get one SID working, and he said that you can, you know, you can simulate. It simulates both SIDs, 6281 and 8580, dual SIDs. Now, he's not wrong, but at the same time, I'm not wrong because I have test, I have tested this, and I noticed something odd. I mean, I will show you. Okay, so we have this setup. You can see it all there. Let's go back. No. Not eight voices. Standard. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. Okay, that's just where I wanted to go. Okay, so let's go to USB. Enter. Sit. 
Okay, so we go into Wicklands tune and you play it and I will tell you what I hear. <laughs> Now this should be stereo. You should be hearing 8580 in the left and uh, 6581 in the right. You know, or the other way around for you. <laughs> but you're not. It sounds mono, and it sounds like an 8580 to my ears because I know this. I know this tune very well in each sit on 8580 and 6581. But this sounds like an 8580 and a slightly different one. So it's interesting. Now, let's go back to the um, settings here. What I'm going to do now is um, disable Sid Right. Yeah? Let's disable that Sid Right. Cool. Now, we've disabled the uh, auction. Actually, no. Let's disable Sid Left because that is the 8580. Yeah? Disable Sid Left. Cool. Now, it should only come out of right, and it should only be a 6581 coming out of right. Again, let's try. That sounds like an 8580 to me. But what that's showing me, what that's telling me, is that I'm on the right tracks, I've set everything right, because I am assigning the actual right to 6581 and the actual left to 8580, but it's just not playing, so... Okay, now dude said to me <laughs> that you can simulate both. Now, he's right. You can. It's written there. And I was trying to tell him, but I don't think he was understanding what I was saying. Um, so I will say now that, yes, you can, both sets. However, I think the 6581, I don't think Gideon has actually, you know, created a separate 6581 yet. I think both of them are simulating as 8580, if you see what I mean. Because let's say, for example, if I were to change what I heard before was the 8580. Now let's change that 8580 into 6581. Yes? Sounds the same. Sounds like 8580. Now we see that it doesn't sound like a 6581. They both sound the same. Both those sits are simulating the same set, if you know what I mean. I don't know if this is not implemented yet or what, but they're both identical, therefore giving a mono sound. You know, it's like dual SID at 8580, not 6581. So that's what I was trying to tell him, that dude who was like, you know, back and forth saying, yes, you can. I'm like, yes, I know you can, but it doesn't work <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I was, that's the point I was trying to get at. So anyway, what I want to try, I'm a little bit curious. Now, we have, um, a real 6581 and 8580 dual set thing going on. So that what I want to do now is um, we have here 8580 simulated 8580 from the Ultima 2 plus, uh, and that it sounds more or less like an 8580, a real one. Though it feels to my ears just a touch different, you know. And uh, so what I will do now is I will. You know, put the uh, increase the volume of the in the internal sits, the actual sits, and then during the um, the tune, I will increase the volume of the. I'll mix in the uh, the output of the ultimate two, the simulated sits. So. Oops. so I'm gonna mix it in now.
you were to let's go in the audio output settings it helps me concentrate when we go into the audio output settings i don't know it just does okay something actually very interesting is going on here now of course the um you know the simulated set sounds the 6581 8580 there's no differentiation between either from my findings here you know they both sound identical they both sound like an 8580 and they are going in mono in the center now when you combine the actual sid the actual sids with the ultimate 2 plus you get that kind of weird uncomfortable kind of feeling i it, it was it was underwhelming in the sense of it was underwhelming but at the same time interesting because you get that weird sort of feeling that someone's compressing the side of your ears and that is because that you know they're trying to can something's trying to cancel it. these frequencies that are identical they're trying to cancel each other out because it's just identical now that kind of happens and also it's a feeling of you know when you have your um your speaker system your hi-fi system the hi-fi lot of you will know this because this happened with uh, senor sanyo when i was fixing him um you have your hi-fi system each speaker now you connect positive negative to each terminal now if you were with one of your speakers connect to the other way around as in connect negative to the positive positive and negative wrong polarity um you will get the same effect as this it's like a weird sort of ooh, uncomfortable feeling <laughs> so anyway this is because i and actually that's a compliment to gideon's um simulated 8580 that kind of means that the 8580 simulated is actually very 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 close to the real one to the real sound of the sound of the real one so he simulated it pretty much accurately i'm not sure what he's done with the 6581 he's basically just like duplicated the 8580 and labeled it as 6581 maybe he's got future plans for that i don't know so one thing we've learned is that the 8580 of the simulated one is yeah pretty much identical to the um very close to the actual one now every set of course sounds different however if it was if it actually was a um a different type of uh like for example if it was like uh, it didn't sound exactly right then we would get a nice effect it wouldn't sound so identical to one of the sets so we would get an interesting effect which would be like kind of a 3dish effect so if there were three types of sid and they all sound different you know it's like a third type you could actually have a nice 3d effect mixed with mon like a mono uh the th the third channel the third sid being mono and the other two being in each ear it actually have a nice 3d effect i think It'd be interesting Not, well at least a nice stereo effect you know so because let's come out of here because we're not dealing with the sit anymore um yeah, we'll come out of here as well. okay now we go in the mods a couple of mods here go on then let's play lotus 2 intro the classic no but it just to just lost it into memory i think um hello into ryu okay play mod Of course it is um stereo separated just like the original Amiga is. My my device here, my um stereo separation adjustment device that is of course not going that's going into the actual sets, the not the simulated set. So pretty accurate. I mean I, I can I know this notes and everything. C5 D5 freaking High octaves, aren't they? That's a bit odd. Because on the Amiga they don't look like this. Anyway, that's all the samples, of course. It's my favorite part. Always has been my favorite part of this tune. My light run out. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Oh, the freaking light ran out. Yeah, the light battery ran out. So, you know, it's gonna need charging. The other one, the other battery's not even charged because I was using it for the screen. Okay, so let's play this uh, Stefan Ohleman uh, tune. No, I freak off. <laughs> but you're not supposed to do that. Well, you can if you want it or whatever it ordinary you means. <laughs> but I wanted to play them out. This tune, I heard it at Amiga Ireland uh, on one of the Amigas there. And it kind of, the bass line of this grabbed me. I just like love this tune. It goes stuck in my head for like weeks. This And this, what this reminds me of, this tune, is Robert Miles, you know, I, I freaking, he died, didn't he, last year. I don't know what was with last year. It's like so many um, pop artists all died. The 2017 was a bad year for like pop artists. So many died, so many. It's weird. Anyway, it's reminding me of Robert Miles because I used to like his tune Children and Fable. I still like them too. I need to give Lotus 3 more of a chance because I didn't actually play it too much. I played it like a couple of times, but Lotus 2 was the one which always took my uh, attention because of that mod, that tune, title tune. This is the kind of tune which sort of grows on you. The Lotus 2 tune is one that grabs you by the neck and says, Hey, listen to me! <laughs> and this just reminds me of my brothers. Because both of them used to play Lotus Turbo Esprit all the time two-player. They always used to. It's a nice tune though. I like it. Actually, all of the Lotus Trilogy intro tunes are very nice. I wish they had a tracker, like a tracker display. I know they have the, you know, and they have the sample thingy, but I wish they had the, uh, the actual tracker going up. So that's all for today. Uh, don't forget to check out my, you know, the previous two videos if you haven't done so already that in the series, the Ultimate 2 Plus Part 1 and 2. Uh, they are in the description below or, you know, that letter I is there, I think, <laughs> this time. <laughs> because I know I kept doing that. It's there for you. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. And also, I'm on Patreon. If you wish to uh, support me on Patreon, uh, the link is in the description below. And also, thanks so much, so much to my patrons who are currently supporting me. Uh, names are going up as I speak. For the generous donations, I would like to say a big thank you to my patrons Al Hand, Andrea, Anthony Whittington, Boris Matichin, Brad Hansen, Cameron Armstrong, Kadi S. Turner, Karsten Larvad, Kajul Commodore, Eric Andre, Espen Golbeck, Gav Messingham, Hazemaker, James Burr, Jan Bita, Jim Leonard, James Herr, Linus Johansson, Markham Morin, Matthew, Matt Shepkar, Mickey Holm, Mike Richards, Noor A, Obraxis, Ramsey, Patrick Ekman, Robert Menes, Rofi Otterstein, Roy Gelotti, Rudiger Stiedel, Sophie Leroy, Stuart Evans, Thomas Presina, Thomas Muller, The Deeply Cynical, Tina, and Wayne Marsh. If you wish to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below, as well as links to my Patreon's websites or YouTube channels.